Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Flame Leone 2300 here and today I am going to finally show you what I got in the package. Um if you saw on my Instagram that I posted up two pictures, uh literally one not too long ago because this one came in today, but this one was came in yesterday. And um uh, I said, "Oh, what do you guys think what's in the package here?" And we're today we are going to show you. Um some of it you might find it really unexpected. Um, then what you guys might be think what's in the package, but it's very, very awesome what's in here. All right. So I'm going to start with the first one, um, that I showed off yesterday and then I'll move on to this one, which I think this is like the best one here. I'm, I'm really excited about this one, but let's start with this one first. Okay. I'm just going to put this one to the side a little bit. All right. So we got a really big, uh, package here. However, what's inside, it's not really big at all it's actually pretty small so i'm gonna get it out i already know what it is but i'm gonna get it out and let you guys see it and what we have is do, 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 do. it is dark leopard ms all right yes i have obtained a dark leopard all right now um when i brought it from the seller he gave it to me for 31 dollars. so it's pretty good uh, for $31. However, there are some downsides uh, to this Beyblade. I'm going to show you. And you probably must be thinking, uh, once I actually show you the, the cons of this, uh, you might be thinking, oh man, you really brought this? Uh, but yeah, I think I thought of this as more as collector items, so this is not really going to um, do any battles until I find an actual good um, flat, uh, Dark Leopard, I mean. Uh, find a very good Dark Leopard here. So obviously we have... Um, you know, some of his components, as you can see, the bit chip is not the right one. It's a different color. Uh, I'm fine with that because I have, like, I can get Drigger's bit chip, black, black, black and black, right? I can literally just put it there. It's not the same. Uh, obviously, you still want the Flash Leopard. Uh, I keep saying Flash Leopard. Dark Leopard um, uh, bit chip, but apparently, they didn't come with it. All right, so we have it here. I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to break it down each thing, and I'm going to show you uh, the little bit of the cons here. So let me just, I was using the wrong thing for a sec. All right, so I'm going to get this off. Okay, so obviously you saw the uh, bit chip. Now, the only thing with this bit chip, um, if I can kind of pan it closer, let the let it focus here. It's actually really run down, all right? And I believe I saw somewhere there is a crack thing right here. As you guys can see, it's like a little bit of a crack. Right, I'm trying to make it where, let's see if I can move my camera a little bit. There we go. I'm trying to make it where like the, my shadow doesn't really show. But yes, you can see there's like a little crack there. And I think this one is uh Sea Dragon's uh, bit chip. Instead of the actual um, Dark Leopard uh, bit chip. But yeah, it's really raggedy and run down here. Which is not really that good. Uh, but that's not really what I care about. I really care about the rest of the part. Um, then we have the wheel for him. Um, I believe this one, if I get my paper here, is Smash Leopard. So this is the attack uh, wheel, Smash Leopard. Alright, it looks very good. Now, um, when I notice on this one, right... So you can see here, this side is kind of dented in uh, compared to the other side. So this whole this hole here is like a little bit okay. This one is really dented. And I understand because probably with the attacks of Beyblades when you're battling them, um, the attacks are going to be uh, hard and stuff and, you know, wear and tear or something. Things are going to happen. So this is uh, Smash Leopard here. Okay. And then the next part we got is Needle Attacker, which is this part here. So we have Neo Attacker. Um, nothing, anything wrong with this part actually. It came out a okay. If you can see here, this is Needle Attacker. It's a free spinning um weight disc here. I like to call this the PC frame because normally in terms that's kind of what it is when it comes to like Beyblades and stuff. So yeah, this Neo Attacker. All right, and now here's where the real downside is. So, uh, the thing about the running core, Tornado, um, change, I believe, right? Yes, Tornado change. Um, he actually showed me a picture of the running core, and even though I saw the really big con about this, uh, I still went to go buy it. Um, the con about this running core is, you guys can see here, this side is broken over here. 
so you can see. So normally when you put the bit chip to lock it, um, this side is fine. However, this side over here is broken. Yeah, not that's not really uh, that good uh, when it comes to a con here. It's a really bad, it's a really bad thing. Um, what I'm going to decide to do, I'm going to try to see if I can like, you know, fix this or maybe find something to like glue here and like hold it nice and tight because uh, before even, you know, doing this, I like to test run things and everything. And apparently uh, what happens is that since one side is not here, the um, running cord actually tilts when it's on the Beyblade. And let me show you for a sec. Let's see if I can put everything back together. So I'm not going to like do even, I'm not even going to do a test, uh, how would you call it? Like a test launch because I know I, I did it already. I know what's going to happen. All right. Like I said, this is more of a collector's thing than anything. And trust me, Flash Leopard now goes like, Flash Leopard, uh, Dark Leopard, uh, goes for like a hundred dollars or more, which is like, you know, it's really expensive. If you find like a used one, it can go for like a hundred, but if you find like a new one, it's even more. So I have it here. All right. You have the bottom here. Let's see if I can figure this out. So yeah, if you guys can see that, look at, look, uh, how tilted that is. All right. It moves because one side is not there, but the other side is. So when I did a test launch with this, uh, before I even made this video, um, it would like be on an angle. And just like really go and attack and not do the stamina type because it's on an angle like this. And we go like this until it reaches the middle. Then it'll kind of do like a stamina type thing, which really it should be the opposite. But yeah, this is um Dark Leopard MS that we got for this one. All right. Now, um, let's put this to the side. We're actually going to get to the better uh, package here. Uh, this one was a really crazy and awesome package that i got um it's slim so no it's not a sparking bay or anything but it's something really cool that i got and i want to tell you the price point when i got this too so i can get it out i'm just gonna put it aside so you guys don't see it yeah i'm gonna keep it a little bit of secret so what i got in the package was slash liger yeah and this one actually has all its stickers and everything on the beyblade and plus on top of that which slash liger uh liger um i actually or not actually brought it or anything but the seller actually gave me this beyblade for free because he saw my collection and he wanted to help me out a little bit he actually gave me knight virgo with uh slash liger which I was very uh, surprised that he gave me this. Um, I was like, when he told me about it, he would give it to me for free. I was like, wow, that was awesome. Thank you so much, man. Um, I'm probably going to put the uh, seller down in the description. So you guys can, you know, follow him. Uh, he has actually really old Beyblades and kind of selling them for cheap. Um, some of them are like, I would say 10 to $20, uh, like the plastic ones. Um, but some of them, like the really rare ones are going up in price. However, um, for slash Riger, I got a Liger. I got this for $57 right now. You guys might think of it. Oh, $57. You know, that's still a lot of money. However, he also gave me night Virgo for it. So if you like did 57 divided by two, right, that's really cheap, especially how rare, uh, slash Liger is. I was very amazed. And even, too, like, Knight Virgo is also rare, too, as well. So, I was like, huh? <laughs> My reaction was just, like, jaw-dropping here. But, yeah, everything is, like, here, as you can see, um, from both bays. And I was just really stunned when he said, yeah, I'll just give you uh, Knight Virgo for free. Um, I did check around on eBay for Knight Virgo, and I cannot find any of them. Not even the Takara Tommy. Uh, version of Night Virgo, I couldn't find. Um, the one I did find was like a uh, Hasbro Night Virgo, like this one, for like eighty dollars on um, in still in its box and everything. And I still think that's a little bit extreme, but uh, yeah, I was very happy that he gave me this, and they work properly. So I'm gonna take things apart for a sec. I'm gonna start with Slash Liger first because you know everyone wants to look at uh, Slash Liger. 
All right. And then I'll also take out Knight Virgo um, too as well. So I can get that ready. So let me just give me one second. There. All right. So let's start off with Slash Liger first. So we obviously have the bit chip. All right. This is Slash Ligers. And as you can see, right, even from the side of it, from the sticker, it has not been used at all. Right. It's crazy. So this is Slash Liger's uh, bit chip. All right, and then we have his uh, attack ring, which is slash upper. All right, now I was researching um, this Beyblade, I believe, on BayWiki. Uh, and apparently this uh, wheel is actually very good for smash attacks, which that's awesome. And as you can see, um, how it's designed from like upper smash attacks, right? It like lifts up the bay and like gets them off balance, I would say. It was pretty cool and it has all of its stickers there that's amazing all right so you can see slash liger even the back of it all right and then we have the funny uh weight this with it so um this one is cwd free crusher so that's its um weight disc here so what I heard about this is yeah, obviously you can see if I'm doing it already, this is free spinning. Right? It can go both left and both right in free spinning. Um it's a really cool uh weight disc too, just how it how it is, and I just like the spinning of it. Um the only problem I heard about it in the wiki is that basically um even though it's because it's free spinning, it actually goes against the Beyblade rather than help the Beyblade. Uh, when it does the uh, attacks and stuff, so it's wide and it's good for attacks. However, it really you know stops the bay from spinning because it's free spinning. But yeah, it's uh very cool, and it just looks like when it does free spin, it doesn't do like a nice free spin. It's just like a really rackety free spin here, as you can see, doing it left and right. But yeah, it's uh very cool, and as you can see, still all the stickers on. Um, I still like a little slash here, but I mean, that's fine. It has its own stuff it has needs, All right? And then we get to the running core, which is the free wing core, all right? So uh, the way I like to think of this is like Claw um, from the Metal Fusion series with uh, Sagittario. However, um, this is also free spinning. The Claw itself is free spinning. I don't remember if Sagittario's is free spinning or not. Uh, you know what? Let me actually check. I have Sagittario up here. Let me see. Uh, let me get Sagittario. Alright. No, it's not free spinning. So, as you can see with uh, Sagittarios, right? Is that... Oh, let me focus this. Right there. So, you can see the claws stay on. I mean, it does this, but it's not free spinning. As where uh, Free Wing Core actually has this part free spinning. Hey, when it doesn't focus when this part actually free spins as you can see so this is the part that's free spinning but not the actual just claw itself so yeah and apparently when you spin it the claws lift up and it goes like that and it just spins around which is very awesome um the sticker on the top uh it's a little bit run down up here but hey with everything that's here i think it's uh gets an a plus <laughs> plus for uh, being here. Alright, so let's put everything back together. Uh, let me get the uh, weight this. Get the weight this. You put it like that. Man, my camera really doesn't want to focus at all. You gotta expect to. This, I'm also using my... Actually, it's not a camera. It's a phone that I'm using this. But the camera on the phone doesn't like to like stop refocusing. I think it's because I go back. There we go. Let me do that. All right. And then let's put the bit chip here. And bada bing, bada boom. All right. And there's a slash rager, liger right there. Looks very nice. Very awesome. And I am very pleased to get it at the price point that I got it from. Because I'm not paying no $100 for uh, slash liger and stuff. And I also like, I know... For a fact, sometimes um, it either goes to 100 
or even could range to like 500, which is, I think that's pretty crazy for a bay like this. But yeah, I was able to get one for $57. And plus on top of that, uh, Night Virgo 2 as well. So let's actually get Night Virgo uh, up here as well. So I'll just get the piece by piece. And I'll just put it down here for a sec. All right, so we'll start off with the uh, face bolt, which is obviously Virgo, right? Um, the sticker on it is okay. It's not in the best shape, but it's pretty fine. I don't know, know why my camera just keeps it in and out like that. There we go. So you guys can see right there. Looks very nice. You know what I think it is? It's, I think it's because of the, the stadium that it's just really focusing on. So let me take that out for a sec. Still not really focusing. That's weird. I don't know what is it doing. Okay. So well, we've got that. Okay, put that to the side. Then we got the uh, Virgo uh, energy ring. It's in a really nice uh, brown color, I would say. Dark, not dark brown. More like a bronze color, it looks like to me. Nice bronze color. Uh, it doesn't have any stickers on it. But, hey, I'm fine with that. I think I have extra stickers uh, from the Virgo that I have. And then we have uh, Knight. So, this is the Wheel Knight. It looks very nice. So, I think of it like um, when it does attacks, it takes the bay and like goes upward here. Like that. like that it's very nice okay and then we have the um what do you call this not the core not the tip man i don't know my terminology as much uh, when it comes to beyblade i haven't done beyblade videos in like such a long time um if you guys some money some of you may know uh who still watches my videos uh that i took like a whole long break from beyblade um uh, well not beyblade but just making beyblade videos um like a whole four to five years so sorry if i'm like a little bit stuck with my terminology with things uh i do know this is downforce uh 145 so df 145 just don't remember what this the track there is a track so this is the track downforce 145 okay i think this one's also in uh dark wolf that's also has um this track too as well not so bad. All right. And then we have the uh, tip, performance tip, which is ball spike. I believe this one was in the regular um, Virgo, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Earth Virgo. And again, this is one of focus. There we go. Looks very nice. All right. And let's assemble the bay blades together again. So, let me get this. There we go. Get the track from the bottom. Uh -huh. All right. And then we have the performance tip. Bam. There we go. All right, so before we actually end up this video, I do want to give a test launch to show you uh, Slash Liger and uh, Virgo really quick. Uh, I'm not going to test launch uh, Dark Leopard because I already told you guys what happened with that one. So I don't trust myself to uh, put it on film and see what's going to happen. All right, so let me get the launchers for both of these guys. Um, I had the other launcher. I forgot what happened to that one. Okay, here it is. Alright, so uh, let's do Slash Liger first and then we'll do Virgo because I know everyone wants to see uh, Slash Liger. And it's crazy because I actually have not seen a lot of videos of Slash Liger. This is that rare. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go shoot. So as you guys can see, uh, you have his uh, weight disc, the crusher, I believe it was called. And it's a uh, free wing uh, out to the side. And obviously, it's not meant to uh, 
be like a stamina type or something that endures uh, long battles. I think it's more of an attacker type because of all its uh, parts that it has to really smash attack somebody. But yep, that was a uh, Dark Lager. I like how it also ended in the middle and like posed right in front, which is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so we'll take uh, Slash Liger out. All right, and now let's get uh, Virgo in. So Knight Virgo. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. So look at uh, Virgo right there. Turn my phone down a little bit so you guys can see. So yeah, obviously this one's more of a standable type, so it's gonna last a while as a standable type. It even took like a lot of hits from my finger. But yeah, that's uh the Beyblades that we got in the package. So we got uh Knight Virgo, Slash Liger, and uh Dark Leopard right there. Well, semi dark leopard. <laughs> but yeah, I was very happy to uh get this. Um one more time, thank you for the sellers who uh told me this. Uh you guys are very helpful because I know like even though um you know going back and forth, I kinda had you guys lower the price on the Beyblades, but you know, it all worked out. Um, I'm very thankful for the seller who gave me slash Liger for 57 plus uh Knight Virgo with it. Um, you didn't really have to give me Knight Virgo, but you know, he, he was very generous to give me that. So I was very happy, uh, for a Beyblade to be added to my collection. I really do want my Beyblades, um, not my, my collection to grow. You know, it's very important that, um, as a Beyblade collector, I do want to get more Beyblades. I want to try to make the best content as I can for you guys. Uh, and yeah, so as you can see, guys, see here, and I'm going to show you in a sec. Uh, besides this, let me move my phone. This is all the Beyblades I have. So you guys can probably see here. These are all the Beyblades I have. All right. And I'm really trying to do my best to uh, collect a lot more. All right, so I have my Beyblades. I also have like uh, my Bakugan stuff over here too. Uh, and also, I, I forgot that I do actually have more uh, Bakugans that I have not unboxed yet. So I'm gonna probably do a more unboxing videos or like the last three packages that I have um, of Beyblade unboxings. But yeah, you know, I really want to collect more Beyblades. I really want to get all the Beyblades as best as I can, even though I know that's going to be very hard. I got to save up a lot of money. I know that for sure. Um, I know like, um, the shining God Beyblade from MS and bloody devil is going to be very, very hard to get. Um, but if any of you guys can help me or find ways that I can get, um, you know, Beyblades better, uh, then definitely let me know. And like I said before, um, too, in the past videos, if you guys want to recommend a battle, please do not hesitate. Uh, I would love to do battles for you guys. Um, as you can see, we have a bunch of Beyblades uh, here for you guys that are ready to, uh, you know, get their feet dirty or their um, attack rings dirty and uh, want a battle uh, for you guys. So just let me know. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of these three bays here. Uh, they're very awesome. I'm very happy with my purchase. Uh, hopefully I might get a new running core or can find a new running core for, uh, Dark Leopard. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, stay healthy, you know, with everything going on. It's very important that you guys stay indoors for a little bit and be healthy. Bay battle <laughs> indoors if you guys want to. All right. And with that being said, catch you guys later. Take it easy, guys.